Hi friends, it's Miss Timey, and today is our last Folktale Friday of the summer. So today, I'm going to tell you the story of Stone Soup. But before I start, I'm going to need some help today. Are you ready? There's going to be some running. You guys are good at that. Take your hands. Ready? We've got our running feet. Um, there's going to be, there's some cooking in this, so we're going to need to stir. So if you guys want to pretend you have a big pot to help me stir. Okay, we've got some stirring. And we also have some chopping. So maybe if you can chop like this. Yeah? Okay. The story of stone soup. Once upon a time, there was a traveler who had traveled for many days, and he was very hungry. He came across a village, and he thought, maybe the people in the village will share some food with me. So he went to different houses in the village, and he asked them, do you have any food that you would be willing to share? But the people of the village said, no, they did not. So the man finally said, well, if somebody would be willing to share a large pot, I could make stone soup. And the villager said, stone soup? We've never heard of stone soup. And one of, the, one of the villagers said, I have a large pot at home. I'll go and get it for you. And she ran home to get her large pot. Ready? <laughs> well, as soon as she returned with the pot, the traveler filled it with water and said, now you need the perfect ingredient, a stone. And he walked all around the village searching for that perfect stone, which he finally found. And he added it to the stew, soup. And he stirred and he stirred. And the villagers gathered around and they smelled it. And they said, this smells pretty good. And he said, yes, well, it is good, but it would be even better if we could add some carrots. Well, another villager who was there said, wait a minute, I have a carrot in my garden. I'll run home and get it for you. And so he did, he ran home. And he came back with a beautiful orange carrot. Well, the traveler chopped that carrot up. You wanna help me chop, chop, chop. And he added it to the stone soup and stirred some more. Can help me stir? And all the villagers gathered around the pot and they said, oh, that stone soup is smelling even better. And the traveler said, well, this is going to be pretty good stone soup, but it would be even more delicious if we could add a potato. Well, one of the other villagers who was there said, wait, I have a potato at home. I'll run home and get it. And so she did. Ready? Help me run. And she came back with a lovely potato, which the traveler chopped up, chopped, 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 chopped and added to the soup. And again, ready? Stirred and stirred that soup up. And all the villagers gathered around. They said, oh, this stone soup is going to be quite good. And the villager said, well, it is going to be very delicious, but it would be even better if we could get an onion. Well, another villager who was, who was standing by said, wait a minute, I have onions in my garden at home. So he ran home and came back with an onion, which the traveler chopped up and added to that stone soup. And again, they stirred and they stirred and the villagers gathered around and they said, oh, we can't wait to taste this stone soup. Well, the traveler said, there's one more ingredient I think that would make it perfect. This would be the best stone soup ever if anybody had a tomato. And another villager said, wait, I have tomatoes in my garden. And she ran home and grabbed a tomato to add to the stone soup. And the traveler chopped that tomato up, added it to the pot, that last ingredient, and stirred and stirred. All of the 
villagers gathered around and they said, oh, that smells delicious. And the traveler said, well, since you shared all your food with me, now I will share the stone soup with you. And the villagers learned an important lesson that day because they learned that sharing is really a very kind thing to do. And they never let anybody go hungry again. And they were always willing to share their food. So that is the story of stone soup.